where the results are in from the mock election conducted by Channel One News. Nearly 300,000 students from around the country in grades 4 through 12 cast their votes ahead of the presidential election. It was all part of Channel One's One Vote campaign. They've done this since 1992. We should also point out the students have gotten it right in all five past elections. Here to bring us the results, Angela Hunter, executive producer at Channel One News, also joined by Kai Sherwin. He's a, a student contributor to Channel One News. Uh, Kai is the editor-in-chief of his Greenwich, Connecticut High School newspaper as well. We'll get to you in just a moment. I, I want to start with you. Who won? What were the surprises? Well, in an electoral landslide, it was Hillary Clinton, of course. Uh, 365 electoral votes to Donald Trump's uh, 173. 365. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. But some big surprises, like you said, um, Texas. Texas went blue for Clinton. We, we, big surprise about that. Missouri also. And, and she won every swing state. Every swing state. Ohio, Florida, North Carolina, all of them. All of them. Uh, Utah, you mentioned also there was yes. a bit of a surprise. Well, Utah did go red for yeah. Trump, but it was so close within a percentage point um, between uh, Clinton, Trump, and other candidate. We did not have McMullen on our ballot, but no. we assume, you know, looking at the polls right now, that that's who that third party candidate was. Kai, for whom did you vote? And if you're not comfortable, you can say, dude, I'm not answering that question. I voted for Hillary Clinton. Okay. Um, she's the most responsible um, and she's the most thoughtful. Uh, I think two issues that really were important to me were climate change and gun control. Um, and while climate change could have been talked about more, I think Hillary Clinton really embodies my view on those two issues. What are what are your peers? What are other students saying about this election in general? Uh, they're saying a lot of things. Um, it's at least in my school, it's very divided. Uh, people are are very left leaning and very right leaning. So um, it's been a uh, not difficult, but it's been a very interesting and entertaining few months uh, to talk with my peers yeah. about the election and who they want to vote for and why. How challenging has it been for Channel One to even cover this thing at times, considering some of the the R-rated uh, material? Challenging for you guys yeah. and, and challenging for teachers as well. How have you done that? Well, you know, we've really tried to focus a lot on policy and issues. Of course, we've had to cover some of the kind of the big uh, scandals. Yeah. Um, and certainly, we tried to do that in a very sensitive way, being seen in the classroom. But um, when it comes to kind of our mock election, one thing we noticed is initially schools were a little reluctant to get involved because they have all these anti-bullying rules in schools wow. now. And it, they're concerned that that rhetoric is going to kind of come into the schools and, and, and cause problems. What ended up happening is we did have great participation because a lot of the students pushed for it. They said, no, no, we want to do sure. this mock election. We, we really want our voices to be heard. We think it's important. Again, the fact that you guys have gotten this right every time since 1992. Kai, why do you think that's the case? Why do you think the students have been such an accurate predictor of the, uh, of the end result? That's a really good question. Um, I think it, it comes down to uh, parental preference. Uh, I think kids tend to vote for... Um, what their, who their parents vote for. Um, and while I'm trying to maintain my independence from my parents, I think it's, it's tough to do so. All right, Kai, thank you so much. Uh, Angela, thank you as well. Fascinating results. We hope you guys continue to do it. I should note, I applied many years ago at Channel One when I was in high school, I was rejected. Um, no hard feelings. I wasn't, I wasn't in charge then. So I would have been hired? I would have hired you. Oh, thank God, all right. Vindication indeed. Uh, when we come back, what America needs right now more than anything.